Something I've learned from playing and watching other people play video games is that people come to the game with different reasons. When I play World of Warcraft, I'm not a super intense player. I don't really enjoy going and doing dungeon quests, even though that's a quick way to earn XP and to level and to get really cool gear. I actually prefer kind of tooling around in the woods and collecting and gathering, and I just kind of make a game of my, all by myself where I like to sell things in the auction house and see how much money that I can make selling stuff in the auction house. And actually, just so I can give it away to other players, because that's what makes me feel good. So, when I play the game, I'm getting something out of it that some other player gets a totally different experience. I remember watching my son, who was seven, um, play Cut the Rope. And when I play, I like to try and get three stars. So, I'll just keep playing the level over and over again until I can get the three stars. But then I noticed him just zipping through the different levels without getting any stars. And I'm like, son, don't you want to get any stars? And he's like, yeah, you know, that didn't really interest him. He more just wanted to see how fast he could get, could get through it. So we could do something else, although obviously playing a game isn't required. But for him, it wasn't about maximizing his potential. He's really smart, and he could get the three stars. But he had other things he wanted to do. So he was putzing around with that game, but that wasn't how he wanted to really spend his time. So when I think about how that translates, to school, I have to realize that not every student is as passionate about the quadratic formula as I am. Uh, they are there maybe just because they have to be there. Someone put them in algebra and that's not their passion for the day. So even though I might think, this kid could do so much more. I mean, how many times have we said that about a kid? Maybe they just have other things that they're into. and Maybe I can tie their other interests into algebra and maybe I can't, but I should at least expect a minimum competency out of them so that they can move on, but do they all have to be superstars and everything? I don't know. So just to remember, though, that people come to our classrooms for different reasons, with different purposes, different goals, different outcomes, and by having different experiences that they can experience in the class, they have different ways that can connect with the curriculum.